Hey, what's up everyone? It's not my blood speaking here. Uh, basically, we just got a new video of uh, War of the Worlds playing as a tripod. Uh, I haven't watched the video. It's going to be 20 minutes uh, of gameplay. Yeah, it's been a while since we haven't got a, a new video. I think the last video was posted about two months ago. It'd be a little bit longer than that. But yeah, it's been a while. Uh, this video is going to be different because uh, obviously in the previous videos, we did get to see playing as a survivor, a survivor perspective, you know, against the tripods. But this time in this video, we're going to be playing as a tripod. It might be very glitchy, might be very buggy, do keep in mind, uh, but but nonetheless, I'm sure it's gonna be awesome. All right, let's click the video. I don't wanna keep rambling on. All right, here we go. All right. We have the new backup tripod model. Nice. They look amazing, wow. Dude, I really wanna, honestly, like, regardless if we do end up getting the 2000, 2005 version, like, we're allowed to keep that version. I do hope a RAF, you know, implements this uh, either way. I mean, more more variety the better, right? But I know he's aiming for like uh, 2005 version. But I would love to see these guys regardless. They look so sick. Holy smokes! Lots of pixel. Oh, okay. Wow. So this is how it's gonna look like. I. All right, so so this is the, this is the the screen that you're looking through, basically. This is the hood, right? Rising up. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this is uh, the the angle. This is the view. This is how this is gonna look like. Wow. Oh, you you have the hood. Nice. Okay, here's the hood. Yeah, I was gonna say where was the health bar or something. So here you have, uh, don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, you have here, humans killed, blood, on the top uh, left. That's pretty sick. And over here, raised tentacles are low tentacles T. Nice. Spray blood. Nice. Yeah, not my blood, <laughs> dude. And probe, P for probe. He kind of did make make it organized. That's pretty nice. So basically, like, spray blood is B, and then, yeah, C for crouch, okay? And here you have health, okay? Tentacles, so is that how many tentacles we have? Dude, that's sick. And up here you have, like, obviously the language of the aliens, from the aliens, yeah. Very mysterious. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, he's destroying the whole place now, nice. Dude, this looks sick. Obviously, it might not be too intense because you're not playing as a survivor. You know, you're not vulnerable like you know, the humans. So playing as a tribe, you feel more um, very OP, very overpowered. You know, you f you feel that that domination. You know, oh, that's sick, man. Wait, I want to see him destroying buildings. I don't know if there's destructible building in this update. You know, you know, I have no idea. He actually uh, was working on. Playing as tripods, I thought he was just working on like, you know, doing adding, you know, doing a lot of bug fixing and improving the animation, you know, of the tripod, which we might see here. I heard that he improved the tech, the tentacles. Uh, I want to see that. Oh, that's sick, man! Look at all this cars going flying, dude. That's gonna look so sick playing as. It, it's it's crazy. Like it looks very different, you know, from the survivor perspective. Like you, like when you're playing there, when you're playing as a survivor, it feels very different. You know, it feels like, oh my god, it's, it feels, uh, it brings that uh, horror atmosphere. But when you're playing as a tripod, it's like you're almost playing a different game. Do you see what I mean? Which is really awesome. Because you're playing this uh, gigantic machine and, uh, and you're just destroying things and nothing could ever get in your way, you know? Nothing's stopping you. And that's what makes it fun, yeah. I mean, if you guys are like horror games, just play. <laughs> At least play as a tripod, right? If you guys don't want to play... All the words because it's too horrifying. Then play as a tripod at least. Because this is sick. This is really awesome. So you have left heat ray and right heat ray. That's that's really nice. This is work in progress. This is pre-alpha. Do keep that in mind. 
Oh, what is he going to do here? I bet he's going to probe. Come on, you got a probe, man. I want to see how, what the probe looks like. Okay, he's doing something with the cursor. He's got the mouse cursor on something. Oh, you see those... Oh, you see those little bloody people running. Oh, you hear the heat ray? Okay. I know where this is going. He's going to wipe them all off. He's going to incinerate every single one of them. Go on. That's it. Oh, look at that. Humans killed. Oh. Look at that. Can you guys see that? I do apologize if you guys can't see it. Maybe if I hide my camera like that, you probably see it. <laughs> 30 kills already, man. Almost four. now 40 kills. Bloody hell. Are you going to survive against... Like, I don't know how, like, how tripods are going to be like in multiplayer. I don't know if he's working on multiplayer at the moment. I think he will probably end up starting soon. I mean, this looks almost complete. I mean, too early, I mean that's too early for me to say. I haven't seen the whole video yet. <laughs> it's like pretty 19 minutes. Uh... Beam light looks really nice from up here. I wonder if there's third person. I want to, like, because uh, uh, I, I want to see. Like, if I'm playing as a tripod, I want to see myself, you know, in third person. I mean, I'm sure he probably had that. I know he's not going to add, like, third person for survivors, because he wants to, you know, bring that, immer that immersive feeling. Oh, there, there we go. Nice. Nice. I think for vehicles, you know, machines, you get to uh, have third person on that. That's pretty nice. Though the sneak mode as well. There's a lot to read on this. Uh, this bottom left here. That's pretty sick, he added sneak. Sneak mode. I mean, it doesn't feel like horrifying, because like I said, you're playing as a tripod and you're very unstoppable. So. But it's very, I can tell you, might feel, might be very, very, very like addicting, you know, playing as a tripod, because you love destroying things and capturing humans and sucking blood. I wonder if he added more Oh, wait, you can see... I want to see the tentacles. Yeah, you see them there. They do look, uh... They look quite smooth. For sure. Wow. Yeah, they do look a whole lot better. Wait, well, he's going to capture him. He's going to maybe wipe him or something? Oh, yeah, we captured him. Needs a little bit of animation work on there, though. But I'm confident you'll do that. Like he's using the mouse cursor to capture players. That's pretty sick. NPCs. Hey, you see people in there, in the cage. <laughs> Can you guys imagine proximity chat? When you're playing as a tripod, then you hear a lot of people just like, cursing words at you. Like imagine someone was, like imagine someone was cursing at you and you just got really like, I don't know. You have enough of it, and so you so you send it. You, so you send down the bloody tentacle to suck blood. That'd be pre pretty hilarious. Oh, look at that! Yeah, those tentacles right there. Like it looks so much better. It looks just like the movie. Holy smokes! Yeah, I really can't wait for proximity chat. Just I don't I don't know how it's gonna be like in the cage. It's gonna be like so loud in the cage, and then that would be hilarious. <laughs> I'm glad he added a third person. I was quite concerned we might not actually, you know, see our own tripod in third person. Looks like he's in the cabin wood. Ooh. He's in it. I bet someone's gonna run out of that house and then he's gonna capture him. I mean, the house is small, I mean. Why would you stay in there? I don't know, it looks a bit small from up here. Dude, this looks really lit. I was quite skeptical on how... Wait, what happened? Oh! Okay, here we are. This is what I was waiting for, man. Probing, let's go. Damn, dude. 
You know, I can imagine this is what it, this is what it actually looks like from the probe uh, perspective. I think there might be someone hiding here actually. It does the house does look a bit small from up there, but maybe it is pretty massive. Maybe you might see survivors uh, in here. I want to know though, like if he actually spots a survivor, what would happen from that moment? Like how would the probe react? So you see here, you get to move around. Clicking W A D. Okay. You see your own body. <laughs> Imagine you can actually tangle yourself. It'd be pretty hilarious. I don't know if you could do that. It'd be annoying. Going upstairs. Oh, there he is. You dead. Okay, well okay, what would happen from this moment? Let's see. It'd be it'd be cool if the probe wait, wait where's he going? Going going back up? So, so is that what the probe is gonna do? Just wait. Will it go? Will it go tell the Martians? Yeah, there's someone down there. Will it tell? The, will it tell the tentacle? Go capture the human? Yeah, I think you. I think you will be. Okay. Bloody yeah, 141 kills, man. That's insane. Dude, playing as a tripod must be so OP. You see people there were just walking, man. Should be running, not walking. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that he added, like with the options. Oh, dude, like, I, want, I hope in the next video, I don't know if he's already working on it, but I really want to see, like, playing as a Martian. Not just the tripod or the tentacles or the probe. Like, I want to see the Martians, how they will play out. I can imagine them being so OP. Goodness me, there's so much. <laughs> From this perspective, it's like uh, we're playing an RTS game here. But I like that, it's different, you know, it's different, uh, you know, compared to the uh, survivors. I like it. Nice. I think it's a bit hard to see because it is a bit pixelated. Like the screen that you're using, the tripod. Yeah, you want to make it like that. Oh, you see, oh yeah. <laughs> That's a survivor. Did you just put him in there? I think I think he did. But yeah, how many people do you have in there? Like, what happens if it's full? Like, do you need to, do you need to suck someone? Got you got to suck blood, right? How many people can be in that cage? I'm guessing there might be a limit, so he needs to like obviously suck those players. <laughs> suck blood, I mean. Alright, here we have your military, let's go. Oh, that's sick. He actually picks the vehicle up. And then drops it. Whoop. Dude, this is this a lot of combat. I think he's... Looks like he improved the uh, fire effects. Wow, that looks really nice. Yeah, I'm really happy that he improved the tentacle animation. You can tell, like, it's a bit hard to look at. But if you look at the shadow, or right here, it looks a lot better. It needs to fix the draw distance. It, it's a bit weird. Where the pop out? Too many pop, too many pop ups. But that's fine. I'm really impressed on how the trapper plays, honestly. Really, really impressed. He's gonna probe that house. That's really sick. You can lower yourself down, which is nice. Keeps on crouching. <laughs> it's like he's like his tea bag in the bloody house. 
<laughs> How many times can you sound the horn? Hopefully it's not too spammy. I feel like a lot of players I will play as a tripod will just keep on pressing H, sound horn. Hopefully there's like a like a timer for it. It looks really impressive. I'm really, really happy on how the tripod looks. I was skeptical. I was quite skeptical on how the tripod will play out. But this looks really good. He went in really he went in depth dude, and this is pre-alpha. So if you guys are watching this, it's not completed. There's a river. I wonder if he added like bodies like floating in the river, just like in the movie. And Rachel saw the bodies. Maybe cool reference. Oh, see missiles coming out the tripod. Oh, the screen's getting turned up. Oh, okay, so I think the tripod's getting destroyed. Where, where's the health? Oh, yeah, the health is right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah he's uh, deteriorating. Okay. Yeah, you dead. Goodbye, tripod. Okay. Okay, that's super pod. Oh, that's sick, dude. Look at those trees uh, come off. Like how they get knocked down. Nice. They've got concept art images. By Theo Magic, is that say your name? Theo? Dude, these images look so sick. Wow. These are different looking tripods as well. Oh please do make those images a uh, part of the loading screen. I would love to see those images, like let's say if we're loading into a match or something. I think those images will be very, very good to look at on the loading screen. So these are taken by close testers. I'm not part of the close testers. I really want to wait for the game to come out on Steam. Don't want to spoil myself too much. I've seen some of these images. Was that Bobby Ott's image? I think that's what he said. It's really, really impressive. Honestly, I'm really, really happy what, what he's on to um, for the tripods, you know, playing as a tripod. And it's pre-alpha, you know, that I'm sure he would definitely improve it. I'm confident that he will. Oh, that's a nice shot. It's really, it's really good, man. I'm really, really happy. Honestly, we came a long way with this game. And it's going to get better and better, you know. See this tripod is slowing down. It's a fairy scene. <laughs> I've seen this image. Damn, like, like he's not too far off. Then, like, I, I mean. Yeah, of course, he still needs to do more of uh, playing as a tripod, but my guess like he could do more to play, like, maybe this year, later this year, who knows? I had no idea, like, he was working on playable tripods. Wow. Okay, I uh, guess that's it. Okay, guys, yeah, uh, that seems to be uh, the video. Uh, honestly, that was really, really impressive. Uh, I was quite skeptical before, like, how the tripod will play out. I thought it wouldn't look too cool. I think it would look too boring. Honestly, it looks really fun playing as a tripod, you know, destroying, you know, the buildings and the cars and wiping out the humans. It looks uh, very, very promising. And there's a lot of, like, details on there, like the hood. There's a lot of options that we saw as well. Uh, honestly, I'm really, really happy. I'm really, really hyped up for the game overall. Um, I just can't wait. It's a dream game for for War, War of the Worlds fans. You know the people that watched the movie from 2005. Um, but yeah, man. If you guys like this video, be sure to uh, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about the game. But yeah, until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have a good one. Bye.